Welcome back, everybody. It's Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to get back to work on our train uh, station. That is the main goal for today's episode. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's get back on this. So we we just kind of barely started it, and I got um, sidetracked into getting the aluminum production going so that we could get these, uh, you know, get the hover pack built, which we did in the last episode. If you missed that. And so the plan for the first part of our our train is going to be it to run tracks up to the space elevator for space elevator deliveries. Uh, but then, of course, you know, I'm sure we will expand it quite a bit beyond that as time goes on. Um, so we also discovered in the last episode that the train rail will continually provide power to our hover pack too which is super nice uh, make, make it's gonna make this you know really easy to do however I think that you know what I might want to do is maybe start this process um, back over at the space elevator so that we can line it up correct and then work our way back this way I'm thinking that's probably what I want to do with that so um, or, you know, maybe not even necessarily. Well, yeah, we probably will lay the tracks, too. So what do we need for tracks or railway? We just need a bunch of steel beams and steel pipes. And then we have the train station. I'm going to have to figure out how these signals work. Yeah, but they're using, you know, they're used for when you have multiple trains sharing the same track. Empty platform with catwalk. So, okay, so the freight platform is what's used to load and offload. Gotcha, okay. And then the train station is, I think, you know, what's used to power the thing. So this is a train station here. If we put a freight platform down here. Um, must be placed in line with another train uh, oh like so oh so it goes behind there not in front of it we just need um, more platform I think here okay so let's Put this in zoop mode. All right, now let's change this to a freight platform. Can we turn it this way? Yeah, we can. Okay. So that's where we run <coughs> run the conveyors into. Okay, neat. Configure. Load and unload. Okay, so that that's pretty much going to work the same as a, a truck platform then. Very cool. All right, so I think what we'll do then is we'll... Do I have enough to make a station and a platform on the other end too? We have enough for the station. Oh, yeah, we, we should have plenty. So I'm going to load up on concrete steel beams and steel pipes and then I'll meet you guys um, back uh, at the space elevator and we'll we'll kind of set things up on that end and work our way back here because you know once we get back to here we've got the entire sea out there to maneuver things um, and so yeah I want to just start from there so things line up correctly so I'll see you guys over at the space elevator Okay, we are here, and this is where uh, we're going to load things into the space elevator. So I think what we'll do is let's put that there, and we'll change this to concrete. I'm 
not sure how um, wide we'll need to make this, so let's whoops, let's start with this. We have to make sure um, there's plenty of room for the train to swing in and out too. So you know, based upon that, that uh, gotta get up in the air a little bit here. Maybe we'll just fill all of this in for the moment. All right. Now let's get rid of these rails here. And can we put the freight platform down first? Must be placed in line with another. Probably not. It doesn't look like we can. What I'd like to do is line this up. Yeah, we're going to have to go out even wider. But I'd like to line it up with... outputs here maybe the yeah maybe like right there except for it's not gonna let me set it down because we need to have the main train platform first so let's just do this let's just change the color of those blocks as a marker And we'll have the border of the main train platform at that marker. Or the train station, I should say. I uh, think we want to go in this way as well. Oh, you know what else we need to do is make this a little wider as well. All right, let's try that. I think that's where we want it. Let's move it out to there. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Now, if we put a... Oh, I don't have any power right here. If we put a freight platform there. That should be lined up with the input. You know what, that, uh, I don't think that's perfectly lined up. <sighs> okay. It's not. It's because the space elevator's not quite perfectly on the grid. Oh man, that sucks. That's really weird that the space elevator is not perfectly lined up. It doesn't. It doesn't look like it's. Well, okay, hold on. Let, let's try something here. Maybe we just need to move all of this back one notch. Okay, train station. That's centered, right? Whoops. 
And then let's move it back this way one notch. Okay, now we'll get the freight platform. That's over even further. Yeah, see that we're not going to be able to line it up because the space elevator, if we look at this center output, it's just slightly off center of that line right there. Unless we pick the space elevator itself up and nudge it over. I just don't understand why it's on a different grid, though. That just seems really weird. It's, it's funny that this super advanced piece of equipment <laughs> only requires the very early game stuff to make. Yeah. All right. Let's try something. Let's let's dismantle the space elevator. Guess that takes a little while. Let's rebuild it. Um, but try and get the inputs to line up on this seam here. That is really bizarre. I won't do it. Can I get one of these to line up on the seam? Uh-uh. Okay, that's... I guess that's lined up. I don't remember how far over I had that. Okay, that centers it there. It, it's still not perfectly lined up, though, because see how the green line's not going right into the center of this? So that leads me to believe that we can't... That we can't perfectly line it up. I think that's where it was originally, cause just because it lines up with that belt there. Okay, well, if we can't do it, we can't do it. We'll let it rebuild itself. That does surprise me, though. Okay, we'll get up close this time. Here it comes. so awesome okay well anyway i guess we can't uh we can't line it up perfectly which is a little disappointing ah uh, shit okay then that being the case let's put these back where we were originally going to put them This way, one. Okay. And then we'll make this the freight platform, turn it this way. And. Oh, Mr. Bean's in the way. Dude, get the hell out of there. Okay, so then. Uh, we're just going to have to have a crooked belt, I guess. I, I don't know what else to do about it. I mean, we could run it... We could run it off to the side, but... 
know if there's much point in doing that. Let's at least see if we can do this. Bring you... No, don't do that. Go back there. And down into there. <laughs> oh, oh, this is gonna bug the hell out of me, you guys. I don't know. I don't think I could do anything about it, though. I really don't. I don't. The only thing I could maybe do is bring them out and back around in a in a nice loop. But even that just seems like too much fucking around for this. This we could. Uh, hmm. All right. What if we? What if we put that there? Nope, that's too tight of a of a turn. Okay. Then instead of doing that, let's do this. That's, that looks a little better. I mean, it's still not straight either. But I think it is what it is. I don't think we can do anything about it. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So what that means then is the train will have to come in from this way. And... You know, we need to get the track. Oh, man, I hope we have enough room here to do this. Let's get a track. This may... We might have a problem here. We have to get some trees out of the way. Okay, no, we can make this work. I'd like it to maybe straighten out there. Try this again. Oh, interesting. It still it still stays on still stays curving. So we just need to bring it this way until it gets perfectly straight, which looks like it does right there. Yeah, we're going to have to get those trees out of the way. Okay. Fair enough. Let's get some power hooked up. Let's see. This is the main power on this end. Right, because that's that's a, a, on the separate power grid. So let's power that up, and that way we can use the tracks to fly. And we're going to have to do a little bit of logging here. Also, 
that can go away and that can go away and all of these can go away. Eh, maybe we'll keep one more there. Okay, I have my chainsaw and I've got some biofuel. This tree's poking up too, so it's gonna have to go. That should be good. What? What's going on here? Cut that out. Let's ch uh oh. Oh right. Okay, we don't we don't actually need any of these here. Cool. Okay. Um we'll need to put some rails and stuff in there, but I'll worry about that later. So this is the incoming line. So that's as far as we can take it. I love that we can keep our um, our power, you know, along the track. It's very uh, useful um, that the devs thought to do that for us because it makes this so much easier to do, you know. Okay, we're going to have to do a little bit of logging here. Um, okay, we're going to have to... I don't know how far away I can get from that before I lose power. There we go. And this tree, I think we can leave that tree there. I think it's fine. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Oh, that's terrible. It's right at the same level as the power lights. Oh, no. Okay, well, I guess that's where we need to start coming down then. Um, that guy's crooked anyway. <sighs> okay, so... Yeah, we probably better start from here, too. Alright, so we're gonna go here, let's look at uh here, we're gonna have to get into here. Uh I'm doing two meter. See, I don't know if that's gonna be enough clearance. Probably not. Okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to come down steeper than that.
Let's try the t four meter ramp. Hmm. Well, I guess the other thing we could do is go to the with the two meter and just go back another section. Uh, we don't want it to. I mean, it's got to be high enough for the road too. So that's probably high enough right there. You know, clearance wise. I just don't know if it's going to be high enough up there. Actually, here, I know what we can do. Yowzers. Okay, we made it. <laughs> Let's try something here. Also, we want this to uh, be concrete. Okay. Oh, that does a little curvature thing. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. There's no way that... Yeah, there's just no way there's going to be enough clearance there. Okay, so... That means then that we're going to have to... Start coming down further back. So let's take... Uh, go back a whole nother railway section. And this time, we could try the let's see. I want the two meter ramps again. That'll probably be enough clearance, but <clears throat> I want to see what the rail's going to do. I'll worry about uh, clearance down at the road later. I just want to see, like I said, how the rail's going to go down this now. That should be good enough. I can't imagine the train would be that high. Can we... Can we actually... P plop a train down on that? And just see? Let's see. Transport. Electric locomotive. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of clearance there. I don't imagine the, the cars are going to be any higher... Well, they have a container on top of them. But I think the game just puts on them when you load them. Okay, so that'll work. Uh, let's see, concrete. Okay, now, when we get down to here, we're going to have to level off a bit so we have enough clearance to get underneath there. Well, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Let's go grab our truck. I think the truck's going to be the highest thing that would be traveling along the road. So if we're over on this side, is there enough clearance? Yeah. There is. Alright, we're fine then. So, we just want to bring, uh, wait, what? No, this way, yeah. We want to bring this down to the water. Will you quit screwing up here?
Yeah, that should be right. Is that level with that? Yes, it is. Okay. Right, let's get back up in the air. Okay, now we got to get this to curve around to here until it goes flat, or straight, I should say, which I think it is right there. I'll worry about that later. And then meet it up here. Why am I losing power? Is it because that's glitching right there? <sighs> yeah, I think we just broke the rail. Whoa. Put that away. Okay, that's interesting. If we take this out. Why did we lose power? It happened when I connected because remember we powered it up down there? But why should that matter? Oh, did we... Did we blow a circuit? No. Those guys are all still working. But this is yellow now. If I disconnect this... Now it's back to red. Okay, so it's powered up again. All right, what if we take it to there? We lose power. That is interesting. I wonder why that is. Hmm. I don't like how the rail doesn't follow the contour of the foundations either. You know, like this, this kind of bumpity bump thing here. Because then it also doesn't, you know, make it nice and smooth all the way down to there either. Does it do better uh, at a steeper angle, maybe? Oh. Okay, wait a minute. I'm powered back this way. Now, now we're powered up again. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, so. Just trying to think here. Can we... I'm 
was just trying to think, you know, how I could get this straighter. It's bugging me. If we... See, that's where it starts to clip. It doesn't clip right there. Um, so that, okay, so that power loss is temporary. What I want to do, no, not you. Is let's take these ramp pieces away, or some of them anyway. All right, I've got an idea. Let's try this instead. Let's bring this ramp all the way back down. Okay. Let's take that away, take that away. Now, can we... do this? Oh, I'm gonna lose connection if I do that. <clears throat> here. I gotta come back over by this rail here. Okay. So, if we, okay, I... this might work. If we do that, then it has a little bit more of a gradual curve. I mean, you can still kind of see a little bit of a bump there, but I don't... might not be able to do anything about that. We're going to lose power. Nope, we didn't that time. That looks better. It is, it's an improvement. Okay. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. I mean, I don't know I don't know what else to do. Cuz it obviously it can't follow the curvature of the ramp perfectly. All right. So, um What we're going to do for supports is we're going to go to architecture and I think I want to use big frame pillars. Can we squeeze a one of these in there? Oh, that's pretty big. Hmm. Can we... <laughs> no, we can't do that either. Alright. 
right, how do we make this work? If we made this maybe a two meter. Okay, and then we went to big frame. That could work. And then we just do that. Now, as far as the, all of these pads floating on the water, I mean, that's pretty deep. I could vertically, you know, try and run those all the way down, but none of the other pads are doing that. So I kind of think of these as like floating, almost anti-grav pads, if you will. Yeah, I mean, this is a space age game after all. So we have the technology, right? Uh, at least that's what I keep telling myself. Okay, let's just see what happens if we go directly off of you um, and go up. Hmm. In order to get that to work the way I want it to, we need to do this. Let's do that, and then that. I, I mean, I guess we could just leave that the way it is. Yeah, let's just leave that the way it is. Okay. When we get to the, you know, obviously the straight pieces, then you know, the supports will be fine. Oh, we're not clipping art here, are we? No, we're not. Okay. All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is... Well, we could do one of two things. We don't really need to run a return track. The train just comes back on the same track, especially for this loop, because it's going to be... A very short scenario but what we do need then is the train a, a train coming continuing uh, whoops let's go to zoop mode around you know to wrap around over there so to do that I think what we do is the rail track has a too sharp of a turn what Okay. We might Okay, let's let's do this the other way around here. We'll come out the other side. Let's go out that way a bit. Grab a rail. Probably going to need maybe that. Right, okay. Let's bring it so it's right in this. Well, well let me get. Uh, 
Eh, that's too sharp. Okay, let's bring it over to this one then. I think... Man, it's hard to say tell from here. Actually, you know what? We don't need to... We can just come down on the ground. There. That's straight. And we'll just see how that how that curves around. We need to get it back over to there. I'm going to build it out to there and then see, can we do the curve there? I think so. Yeah, we should be able to. Right to here. Keep that there. If you guys remember a couple episodes ago, I guess it was now, I was trying to put some corner pieces in here but the game doesn't really have anything that works works for that so let's just take those two back out let's try to see how dumb that yeah I don't like that we'll just keep this a full corner here I mean, I think I want to do this as well. We could fill this whole area in here and use it for extra train storage now that I think about it. But I, you know what? Uh, that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so now we want to run this track into... Okay, that's all the further it's going to go into here. So, okay, so it does that little sign thing in Madoodle. Okay, so that's how you do that. What does the sign say? No. We want it to go s straight when it's coming this direction. Ah, that's how you do that. Okay, you just toggle the switch. Oh, that was easy enough. Okay. Very cool. All right, now let's go ahead and... Set a train engine down. Uh, how do I get it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's put it in the station like that. That's cool. Okay. Let's get in. Yeah, take the brake off. Oh, here we go. Our very first train ride in Satisfactory, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I love the sound. I can't seem to be able to... Switch intersection path. Oh, we can... Okay, so we can switch the path. I can't seem to uh, zoom out any further than this, though. Can I in this menu? Okay, yeah, uh... I don't know. That'd be kind of a cool screenshot right there, though. Alright, neat! 
Oh, that's cool looking. Little turbine generator thingamadoodles. Now what happens if you get to the, uh, uh, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> okay, it stops. Press F to dock. It's not doing anything. It's probably because I don't have any <coughs> freight cars on it. Very cool. Okay, so now we basically just need to do the same thing here. Uh, where we wrap the track back around. Uh, oh, there's a save. So we're going to have to bring this out some more. And I'll have to redo the power lines and all that, too. Okay, is that far enough to get it to go back out? Yes. Okay, I think we want to take it right to there. Okay, so it looks like the curve happens with two and a half tiles. All right, so now that we know that, that means it's this tile here that it's going to be able to curve back that way on. <sighs> That's really sharp, though. I think we should... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's start the curve. Wait, why are you still turning? Oh, because you're not straight. There you go. Okay. So we'll start the curve here. So we want to go one, two, three, and then run that one back that way. There we go. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Um, I think you need to. Eh, I think you need to go to there. Well, again, I can't really tell. Yeah, uh, that's right. Good. Okay. And then... Breaking news from Earth. Shut up. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World president urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Okay, so for this one... We're gonna okay. We're gonna have to curve it back into. Let's just put like a little bit of a platform right there momentarily. So at what point will it let us? Uh, right there. Okay. Huh. Okay. I guess that's where we need to go. Okay. Here again, I might, I might turn this into an entire platform. I don't know. We'll see. The thing is, though, can I get it to? Here, let's try this again. Can I get it to come to here? Harvest. And then do that. Yeah, I like that better. I like that a lot better, actually. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Right. Right. 
we can't see the thing is as we can't see the switch I, I think that's right though all right really don't like this the the thing we were looking at um let's see let's go to foundations we got these corners but they're not flat corners they've got like little ramps on them and so they end up looking like this which is just kind of weird i mean it, i guess it's not terrible You'd think, though, that they would have those pieces in the game. I don't know. The other thing we could maybe consider is using something other than these foundations to build the tracks on. But, yeah, I'll have to think about that later. That's not going to clear that power line, is it? Uh, -uh. uh Okay, so for this... What I think what we could do here is... This is just going to be conduit coming through. Let's temporarily remove that. All right, that fixes that issue. Uh, this tree needs to go. Uh, do those trees need to go? No, I think they're okay. I'll probably go end up going with this. Just looks a little weird, but it's all I really have to work with. We could even hide that by just doing that. There we go. I mean, <laughs> it's still not perfect. What if we... if we did this it's just you know it it you can't I can't get this like right in the center is the problem so I'm just not gonna worry about it right now it is what it is we don't need you there though and we could probably do this All right, let's go ahead and take the train back around. Oh, you know what, though? That s switch is going the wrong direction now. That's interesting. I mean, I can manually switch that, but I get my guess is that it 
if we switch it while we're not inside the train, then it'll just stay whatever we switch it to, I guess. We're going 121 kilometers per hour. See now, uh, that's not right either. What are those, air brakes? Okay, so let's... Um, so when I... Okay, now it's... Now it's switched the other way. So does... Does it automatically... Switch back? I don't know. It's weird. This is fun though. I like... I love these trains. Okay. I want to go back the other way now, and I want to see if this one, what this one has done. No, it's going the wrong way again. I want it to always go to the right. Want to stay that way. But maybe I okay, maybe I have to switch it while I'm in the engine and then that engine remembers what the switch is. Maybe that's how that works. Alright. Let's try that on the other end. Before we go through that junction, I'll switch it. And then we'll see if it just stays that way. Okay, how close do you have to get? I'm pressing the button right now. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> you have to start slowing down a lot sooner than that. That's funny. So now, will it stay to the right when we pass through it again? It doesn't! What the hell? Turn on self-driving. Locomotives have no timetable. Info, train, time, timetable. No stops in timetable. I think, I think we have to, uh, oh here we go, edit timetable. Save changes. All right, so now it'll just go back and forth between the two, I guess. Okay, so that one stayed switched. Notice how the auto drive started breaking almost immediately after it went into the junction. Oh, you know what I bet happens here? I'll bet the auto drive knows, you know, knows, you know, which way you enter into the station. So it probably, it looks like it switches it automatically. I think that's what happens there. See, now that's going the wrong way again, but I'll be curious to see if it switches it when it comes back around. And maybe it'll do the same thing over here too. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so right now that is switched to the wrong track. 
See if it flips it to the right. Uh, yeah, oh, it did. Okay. It did. Because the train station has a direction, right? So it knows, it knows to switch it. Okay. So that answers that question then. I mean, when I'm manually driving it, I can do it myself, but I, I was more concerned about what it does when it's, um, you know, when it's driving itself, right? Very cool. Okay. This is a lot of fun, man. I'm really enjoying this. All right. Should switch at any moment here. There we go. Okay. It's confirmed. I love those air brakes. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, turn off self-driving. Hop out of here. What we're going to do now is... We're going to attach a freight car. I guess it's attached. Press E to interact with freight car. Oh. So, okay, so we can just directly put stuff in it. All right. Um, we need... Oh, wait a minute. No, never mind. I was going to say we could load up some of the components for the space elevator, uh, space elevator, but we haven't even made those yet. Okay. Very cool. Now, the other thing we could do is connect a truck station to here and then still use trucks to deliver product, you know, from that, you know, just from this factory that we're making. Or, of course, we could just run conveyor belts into there, too. Um, either way would, would work. Let's get that rid of that. Okay, so this station, we want to call this station... Uh, I'm not responsible for any delays caused by any reason, including, including what? Okay, we're going to call this, um, West Coast Base. Wait, what? Hold on. West Coast Base. Enter. There we go. Okay. I can't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what this says. <laughs> okay. Can we rename this one from here? Uh, timetable. No, it looks like we have to go there to re rename it. We're going to, we'll call that one uh, space elevator or Rocky desert base. This, wait a second. Hold on, though. This isn't a base. It's a factory. There we go. West Coast factory. I mean, either that or we could even just call it Factory City, because that's kind of the idea, but <laughs> whatever. We'll just call it West Coast factory for now. Okay. Well, that was fun. Our first... Uh, Stab here at at uh, working with trains. That was very enjoyable. You know, taking the train up there is probably faster than the hypertube. I'm just I, I'm curious about that if it is or not. Let's go here. So do the same thing here. I hope when 1O comes out, they give us these triangular pieces. You know, that are flat and not with the little ramp thing on one end of them. I'm very surprised that we don't already have that, you know, even now, but we don't. So it's weird. Okay. This, like I said, I'll probably just fill in. 
and then we could maybe use that space to park extra trains in the future or, you know, something to that effect. Whoa! We're gonna go on the drink! <laughs> Alright guys! Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, what I will do off camera is I'm going to go, uh, you know, just finish putting supports in along the the railroad here. Uh, when it comes to supports, uh, let's see. I might, I might put rails along there too. I don't know. We'll see. But when it comes to supports on the water, hmm, how am I going to do that? What I think we could do is turn this to vertical. I don't want to get too far away from the rails or I'll fall in the drink. Okay, now... Go down to there. We'll go to architecture. And we'll do the big frame pillar. Can we do that? Oh yeah, we should do that on the underneath side of this. That's not centered. I think that is. Yes. All right, well. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to be able to do this without it clipping on either the top or the bottom, so it is what it is. It might even, it might be easier too for me to just, oh, hold on, change this back to Zoop. Maybe we just Zoop it out and we, we do every 10, every 10th block. That should work. So right, uh, yeah, right here. And then we'll cut those away. Yeah, that'll probably look good. Would it look better if I did this instead? Eh. I think it's gonna look jank either way we do it, really, to be honest. So I think I'd rather do it from the top down. But what I'll do off camera is I'll get, uh, you know, I'll get the rest of the, these vertical supports in place all the way down. And there we go. Then we have our first, our first train, uh, our, our first railroad. Now we're not really going to be able to do much with it right now because it's going to be a while before we can start loading the space elevator up with all that stuff. But <clears throat> oh, what we'll probably, in, you know, we'll need to start thinking about doing is, you know, as we expand and need to go further and further out for resources start setting up railroads you know for hauling resources back to the factory um that kind of idea but anyway that's going to be it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you guys all in the next episode see ya bye